Good day, grade 10 learners! Welcome to our second quarter lesson in science, specifically on physics. Studying the nature and properties of light under optics, our topic for today is reflection of light in plane mirrors. Our learning targets are defining the reflection, identify the law of reflection, determine the types of reflection, describe the mirror left right reversal, solve problems involving multiple reflection, and give some applications of mirrors in everyday life. Defining reflection, it is the bouncing back of light rays when it hits a surface like a plane mirror. When light strikes a plane mirror, we consider incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal line. The incident ray is the light ray that approaches the mirror. Reflected ray is a light ray that leaves the mirror, while the normal line is the imaginary line perpendicular to the surface of the mirror. This line that moves or approaches the mirror is what we call the incident ray, while this line that leaves the mirror upon hitting the plane mirror is what we call the reflected ray, and they are at the same angle relative to the normal line. The law of reflection was first introduced by an ancient Greek mathematician Euclid in 300 BCE. The law of reflection states that, first, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So if the angle of incidence is measured 30 degrees relative to the normal line, therefore, the angle of reflection is also measured 30 degrees relative to the normal line. Second, incident ray, normal line, and reflected ray lie on the same plane. Reflection of light in mirrors give mirror left-right reversal effect where left appears right and right appears left. When you stand in front of the mirror, your left ear appears right in the reflected image, and vice versa. That is why the word ambulance is written in reverse so that it could be read right in rear and side mirrors. The letters that always appear the same in front of the mirror are capital letter A, H, I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X, and Y. There are two types of reflection, the specular and diffused. The specular or regular reflection is the reflection of light on smooth surfaces such as mirrors or a calm body of water while the diffused or irregular reflection is the reflection of light in rough surfaces such as paper and wavy water. Next one is the multiple reflection. Multiple images are formed in two adjacent plane mirrors. Multiple reflection is dependent in the angle between two adjacent mirrors. To determine the number of images reflected, we use the formula N equals 360 degrees divided by angle theta minus 1, where N is the number of images and angle theta is the angle between two mirrors. If the two mirrors at a right angle or 90 degrees, we are looking for the number of images formed between these two and using the equation n is equal to 360 degrees divided by angle theta minus 1, substituting the value of 90 to the angle theta, therefore we will have 
n is equal to 960 degrees divided by 90 degrees minus 1 dividing 360 by 90 resulting to 4 minus 1 the number of images formed between mirrors at 90 degrees is 3. If the mirrors are at 60 degrees, looking for the number of image, we will use the equation n is equal to 360 degrees divided by angle theta minus 1, substituting the value of 60 to angle theta, we will have n is equal to 360 degrees divided by 60 degrees minus 1, getting the quotient of 360 and 60, we will have n is equal to 6 minus 1. Therefore, the answer is 5 images. If the mirrors are at 45 degrees, looking for the number of images, we will use the equation again, n is equal to 360 degrees divided by angle theta minus 1, and we will substitute the value of angle theta, which is 45 degrees, getting its quotient, it will result in n is equal to 8 minus 1. Therefore, the number of images formed at angle 45 is 7. How should mirrors be arranged to such that an infinite number of images will be seen? You're right! Infinite reflection can be produced from parallel mirrors. With this, we can say that the bigger the angle, the lesser the number of images are formed. And the smaller the angle, the greater the number of images are formed. We therefore conclude that the angle between two mirrors is inversely proportional to the number of image formed. Lastly, let's determine what are the different applications of mirror. Mirror can be used in optical instruments like periscope, microscope, and telescope. Mirrors are also used in exterior designs, providing invisibility optical illusions of mirror houses and infrastructures. These are also used in interior design, where the use of mirrors in walls make the room look more spacious aside from ringing cozy and elegant ambience. Mirrors can also be applied in amusement. Arranging mirrors in various manners produces infinite images giving an optical illusion. It is applied in kaleidoscope and mirror maze. So these are the concepts involving the reflection of light in plain mirror. If you have more idea about this topic, kindly write your comment down on the comment section. Let me end by this saying, be a reflection of what you'd like to receive. If you want love, give love. If you want truth, be truthful. What you give out will always return by Kristen Butler. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons, follow the Facebook page and YouTube channel of Exploring Physics with Teacher Bob. Bye!